Welcome to Heartland Family Adventures. Today we invite you to join us for lunch at the Grand Floridian Cafe, located at Disney World's Grand Floridian Resort. We decided to take a break during our Magic Kingdom Park day to come here for lunch, as it's one of our favorite spots and just a short monorail ride to get there. The Grand Floridian Cafe is located in the main resort lobby on the first floor, with Victorian theming to match the resort and beautiful views of the courtyard gardens. This restaurant is somewhat of a hidden gem at Disney World, as they always have amazing and delicious food options and a great value for the price. If you're new to our channel, thanks for joining us. We post new content every week with our family travels, including theme parks, hotel and dining reviews, and more. We hope you enjoy. Grand Floridian Cafe is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and the menu offerings are the same for breakfast and lunch with a separate dinner menu. Breakfast and lunch options include appetizers including the seasonal soup, heirloom apple salad, and a chilled jumbo shrimp cocktail. Entree salads and lighter brunch options include the avocado toast, Caesar salads, fruit and yogurt, roasted tomato and feta quiche, or banana foster style oatmeal. Main entree options include the steak and eggs, the grand breakfast, their famous buttermilk fried chicken and waffles, the lobster thermidor burger, an impossible burger, and a miso glazed salmon. Breakfast style options include old fashioned pancakes, a brioche french toast, and Mickey waffles. They also have traditional and lobster eggs benedict. Kids meal options include the grilled chicken breast, scrambled eggs, Mickey waffles, and Minnie's grand pancake. They also have a wide variety of beverages including tea, coffee, and non-alcoholic specialties such as smoothies and frozen coffees. They also have beer and wine and lots of cocktail choices including a Bloody Mary, the Grand Mimosa, and other specialty and signature cocktails. the Grand Floridian Cafe today for lunch. This is our Magic Kingdom day, so we decided to trek over here to the Grand Floridian to have a nice, relaxing lunch. We're starting off with a couple of cocktails. This is the Raspberry Mojito. It just sounded really refreshing and, and delicious on this hot day. So this actually looks really pretty. It's got the raspberries on top and lots of mint. Um, it has a Ricardi Raspberry, raspberry Rum. A Mount Gay Eclipse rum, lime juice, mint, and raspberry puree with soda water. So it looks looks really, really good. I love mojitos, so I thought a raspberry mojito sounded really tasty. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh yeah, that raspberry, that raspberry flavor really comes through. It's got the puree and the raspberry rum in it. That's delicious. You like raspberry? flavors this that really comes through it's not it's not like a hint of raspberry it's like raspberry so I, I love raspberry flavors so this is delicious yeah you definitely get the lime you get a hint of mint and it's bubbly and refreshing now that's that's a delicious drink yeah I like that one all right what you got Dave I got the grand colada it's basically a pina colada that they add in some blue carousel to uh, it's really pretty Captain Morgan Spice Rum, Coconut, Pineapple, and Blue Carousel. Ooh, that was salad. Awesome. Wow. Take a sip and see what you think of your drink. Are you trying to see So it's like a good. pina colada, but with blue carousel. Yeah, I don't get a lot of flavor from blue carousel. It's just mostly for really for, make it pretty. pretty. Yeah. But it's a good. But it's a frozen, nice frozen drink, right? It's so. good coconut pineapple ratio. I think yeah. a little more on the coconut side, which is the way I like it. Yeah. More more coconut than pineapple. Nice. It's really good after being out in the sun. Yeah. So we were both 
We are both looking for a nice refreshing drink after being in the park today already. It's hot out there. That looks delicious. I love the, the whipped cream and the cherry on top. Okay, what you got there? Yeah, so to start off the meal, I ordered a couple of things. I got one of the appetizers, and then I got one of the entrees. This is the heirloom apple salad. It looks beautiful. This is a gorgeous salad. I love salads, so you guys have seen more, some more videos. I like to get salads. They're, I think they're delicious, but I love, I appreciate a good salad. This one looks really good. So it's got some organic baby lettuce, uh, heirloom apples. You can see those all around the outside, so pretty. Sharp cheddar trees, that's that white cheddar. And then it's also got pecan brittle on here. So it's got like candied pecan brittle. And then we've also got some crispy, crispy prosciutto. So we got some, some crispy prosciutto on top. And then it says it's dressed and tossed in a honey apple vinaigrette. So it sounds, sounds fantastic. So let's dig in here. Gotta get a little bit of everything. Mm. Mm. That's delicious. Mm. The vinaigrette is nice and citrusy and light. It's not overdressed. Um, I love, I actually love that crispy prosciutto on there. It's really crispy. And so you get that like nice salty component, uh, nice and salty and crispy component. And then these, um, the, the, the pecan brittle is kind of sweet and crunchy. I love that. Um, no, great salad. The apples, the apples are nice. The apples are nice and crisp and fresh. Um, I didn't get much of that cheddar cheese, but let me see if I can get some of that cheddar. white cheddar it gives it a nice like richness to it um, kind of cuts through the vinaigrette that's delicious oh, I love the salad it's a, it's a good one doesn't they didn't have a meat option to put on the salad but they did have a they did have a Caesar salad that you could get with either chicken or shrimp and I wonder if that would be a good one too if you're just wanting something really light um, you don't want something heavy if you're you know, going to the parks you just wanted something very refreshing this one, this one would be a good option too if you did wanted something with, that didn't have meat just for your meal so it's a nice, nice portion size. <laughs> so for my entree, I ordered the miso glazed salmon. This looks absolutely amazing. So it's a, it's actually bigger and it comes with a hot, pretty hot plate. It's bigger than I thought it would be actually. So we have a lemon, lemon scented sticky rice down here on the base. So you can see the rice kind of down here on the bottom. We have French green beans and then we have a ginger soy vinaigrette glazed over the top. And you see it's, it's a good, it's got a good amount of that sauce on here. And we've got little tiny, little baby wine wedges. A little bit of, a little bit of wine. <laughs> <Blimey. laughs> so I'm trying to get the, a good little bite here. Oh, the salmon is super flaky. Get some of the salmon and the rice. I'll try to get some green beans a little bit. Oh man. Oh, that's good. Mm. So I've had um, other places where they've done like the miso glazed salmon. I think like Cheesecake Factory or other places have, you know, kind of like a play on this. That is delicious. I love the miso flavor. It really comes through. A nice sweet, sweet and kind of umami glaze kind of flavor coming through. The the rice is really nice. I like that lemon, that lemon, um, that hint of lemon in the rice. It kind of gives that freshness. Like you know how you would squeeze lemon on top of your, your salmon. And it's in the rice, it's so good. And the rice and the, and the salmon is really soaked in that sauce. It's, it's delicious. I'm gonna try some green beans. Okay. Do you know like no lady like way to eat green beans? <laughs> I'm gonna try my best. They are like long. <laughs> They're long green beans. Let's try this. Okay, well, I'll go for it. You get a nice snap to them. It's good flavor. They're not overcooked. No, nice, fresh green beans on the bottom. Probably be good if you kind of try to eat it all together. Um, yeah, yeah, they're well cooked, good, well seasoned. No, I love, but I love the salmon. Love the rice. That's fantastic. Definitely recommend it if you like salmon. Um, this is this is a winner for sure, and kind of a one of the more like 
savory lunch items on their menu. Um, they also they also serve breakfast all day here too. So you can get all you know, you can get pancakes, you can get waffles, you can get chicken and waffles, which is one of their signature items. And they've got the lobster thermidor burger. So and then they also have um, eggs benedict here, which we've had before in the past. And it's so so good. The eggs benedict and they have the lobster benedict, which is also really tasty. Dave's gonna try the lobster thermidor burger for the first time today. So let's see what you think. <laughs> All right, Dave is trying one of the more popular items on their menu. What you got there, Dave? The lobster Thermidor burger. Woo! So it comes with, obviously, lobster Thermidor sauce on oh. top of the burger. Uh, it comes with a nice brioche bun, and it's yeah, nice and toasted. Yeah, look at that, nice and toasted. I like that. It doesn't have this in the description. It's actually with like a Parmesan cracker, though. That's, yeah, like a cheese crisp. Yeah. I bet that gives you a nice crunch. Put that on there. <laughs> Give you right. a good amount of lobster on there. It looks like a big chunk That's of lobster. A big burger. That's a big burger. <laughs> nice hearty, nice hearty meal. Ooh, look at that juice. <laughs> Looks like a juicy burger. <laughs> Did you? Oh wow! Look at that. Yeah, I asked for the burger medium. Uh huh. Looks pretty medium. Perfectly cooked. Awesome. Did you get? Um, did you get any of lobster in that bite? No. Oh yeah. <laughs> the cracker just gives it a nice crunch. You know? mm -hmm. I like that. The and parmesan would be a nice, nice uh, kind of a tart or tartness to it, I guess. Yeah. But there's so much flavor from that burger and the lobster thermidor. It's just a good combination. Awesome. Yeah, you gotta go in for a second bite. <laughs> I can see the juice is just dripping. That looks amazing. <laughs> That's absolutely delicious. <laughs> I like that. I know it's one of the popular items here. Yeah, yeah. You just get a little bit of that lobster. It's a nice mm -hmm. flavor, but it's not it's not too much. Mm -hmm. I still taste the burger. You get the sweetness from the lobster, probably. It's a good burger. I mean, that burger was stand on its own. Yeah. Which is important. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, this is a good option. Yeah, if you want it, when you burger. want a good burger, yeah. Dave loves burgers, so this is like he likes to try burgers when we go places, and this is a good one. How would you rank it? Uh, definitely out of five. For, uh, Disney yeah. burgers. For uh, Disney burgers? One of the better uh, Disney burgers you've had? Of, yeah, that's a five. Ooh, wow. I'm, those are, you know, I've had a lot of average burgers at Disney. Uh huh. Average to below average, I mean. Mm -hmm. This is a very good burger. Awesome. That's amazing. How is your french fries? They look like steak fries, but they look like they're pretty well seasoned. You got a lot of seasoning on there, yeah. Yeah, see what, how those are. Nice and crispy, or more like a steak fry? Just steak fry. Yeah, but nice seasoning on there. A lot of that seasoning on it. Yeah, they're good. Some are a little crispier than others. Uh-huh. Great. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Now we got, we have a nice little corner over here in the restaurant. So beautiful in here. I love, I love the curtains, and we've got a, a view out the window over here behind me. <laughs> the Grand Floridian, what kind of the walkway in the courtyard area? So pretty here. I love the decor. These gorgeous kind of lace curtains, and all of the windows around the outside, and the beautiful chandeliers. And see the little, the little geese in the chandeliers. So pretty. Love this place. Yep. Yeah. This, they're you know they're pretty busy this afternoon, but not completely full. Um, but nice, nice option to come over from from Magic Kingdom over yeah. here for like lunch. Like anything, I recommend making a reservation if you can. But there, yeah. there were people they were taking walk ups with about a half hour wait. So yeah, you not could too try bad. That. You could try that. Yeah. Well, I always recommend getting a reservation if you can. Yeah. Awesome. We're gonna dig in, dig into our lunch. And Florida, we get these pop up showers all the time. While we were eating our lunch, it's raining outside. <laughs> Second meal in a row, it just started yep. downpouring. Thankfully, we were inside. Yep, we were inside again, so we looked out again. It happened, this happened yesterday. We were over at the Polynesian Resort and it downpoured. And today, we came over to the Floridian for lunch and avoided the rain again. So, <laughs> two days in a row, lucky. <laughs> So we just got finished with our lunch at the Grand Floridian Cafe. Just wanted to share with you kind of our, our thoughts afterwards. What did you think? Dude? Yeah, it was, it was great. Mm -hmm. Just as good as the times we've been in the past. We've already been to breakfast in the past. Mm -hmm. um, one thing to know that they do breakfast all day. Mm -hmm. It's kind of one of their specialty things. Mm -hmm. But we were, you know, it was lunchtime and we got some non-breakfast foods and they, yeah. were, they were delicious. 
Yeah, when you're feeling like, I mean, I'm the kind of person I like breakfast all day long, but, and if you're one of those people too, that might be like one of the great places for you. You can get, you can get your Mickey, Mickey waffles and your pancakes and your eggs and your, they have some really good eggs Benedict there too. So if you're that kind of person, that's a good place for you to go here at Disney property. Um, I was feeling like more of a savory option today. So I got the salad and the miso salmon. They were so good. Um, yeah, I honestly, we've never ever been disappointed anytime that we've ever come here. Uh, we always, the food is always excellent. The service also, I wanted to give a, make a note that the service is always excellent too. Yeah. Um, our server was so attentive. She came back to us multiple times, checking on us, making sure that we were happy with what we ordered, um, refilled our drinks multiple times. And, came, and not even offered to give us a to-go water cup in case we were going back to the park, so we just wanted something to go. It was so kind and um, so attentive. We couldn't be more happy with our experience there every time we've gone, even with kids. And at the last time was a really special experience. We kind of had a magical moment at the Grand Floating Cafe with our daughter Emma when we went to we went there for breakfast, and it was her birth. It was on her birthday, and she was wearing her birthday button, of course. And I think she was wearing a princess dress. She's wearing Mary Poppins, wasn't she? Mar no, I, I don't remember. She was wearing a princess dress, oh, sure maybe. And um, they came out and they brought her a rose. And she just, like, she talked about that forever. She probably still remembers that to this day. And uh, that was before, that was actually before we were vloggers, before we, we had our YouTube channel. So we didn't have, we didn't have, we didn't document at that time. But I'll have to, if I find a picture, I'll have to post a picture over here so you guys can see her with her little rose. Such a sweet moment. Just, you just never know when those little magical moments are going to pop up at Disney. Um, so this is just always so special, a special memory for us, I know, at that, at that restaurant. So we are always so happy to go there and to come back. Uh, we've never, yeah, we've always had great experiences there. Can't recommend it any higher. And it's a really nice, nice way to kind of take a break from the parks, especially in the summertime. We're here in July, so it's hot today. And we had like a little pop-up shower that actually happened while we were here. Yeah. So we were like double glad <laughs> that we that we decided to come over here to, to get away from the park for a little bit, to have a nice relaxing lunch. And it turned out that we, we got over here in a good timing. We didn't get stuck in the rain. Um, so we were able to enjoy our just our nice lunch and and the, and, I, and the air conditioning away from the heat for a little bit of cool off and then we'll be ready to go go back and hit the parks hit the park and do some more of our favorite rides today. So awesome. Well, yeah, I just wanted to share with you kind of our takeaways from this location. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. We and we enjoyed making it for you today. And we'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.